Previously on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I said await my daughter's return, but not five, five seconds, seconds later did I just get stepped, stepped on by a big fat guardian. God, God damn it, and that's how King Rome came to die. To die. Did y'all enjoy my story? story? Yeah, yeah don't you, you feel, feel sympathy for me now? I hate you even more now, old man! Ah, uh, oh well. And now back to saving Hyrule. Sneako B, back with some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We last left off, I completed the final shrines, including one that involved a blood moon, and that shit was fucking annoying! <laughs> that was definitely the most bullshit one out of all of them, I think. Oh my god. I think what just made that just so annoying was just how unpredictable and the blood moon was. It was way more unpredictable than I had even realized. It's like, it's only when you really need it, right, that it doesn't show up. But yes, I believe this will likely be uh, the last episode of the series. Uh, some of you predictions like, oh, it's going to be short as hell, all right, Nico? Because you did all the, the, the divine beats and you got all the best gear and you have all the best shit. You're going to fucking blow Ganon away. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that'd be the case because, I mean, they, they're they trying to give you an incentive, right, to get all the beats. It's going to make uh, Ganon easier. Um, but also, I mean, they have to have a, a case scenario where, well, let's say I just got some of the stuff, you know, and still, you still managed to kill him that way. So it, it's sort of a give or take. You might lose a bit of challenge, though. I suppose I could go in there, like, naked or something, but it's like, but then what's the point of me getting all this cool shit, right? I mean, what's the point of me fucking bang my head against the wall for that fucking trial by sword, right, to get this sweet, awesome thing? So if I end up mopping the floor with him, hey, you know what? It's all right. It was all about the journey. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, absolutely, Link. Link. It's, it's all about, all about just, just making, making friends, friends with some ghosts and, and trying to sell any decent wafu and yep, yeah, 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 collecting yeah, poops, Koroxy poops, poops. Which, which, yes, by the way, you guys pointed out also, uh, I think Hestu's gift is supposed to sort of uh, make it sort of click in your head that, oh, these little seeds I've been getting, uh, maybe they haven't been seeds at all. <laughs> maybe they're all like little Korok poops. <laughs> in which case, ew, <laughs> I've been sticking these in my pocket. Ah, uh, I thought they smelled weird. Anyway, uh, a couple of things, though. Uh, I do want to see if I can get through uh, the remainder of my side quests. Like, I don't have too many left. I mean, some of them have, like, you know, cute side stories, like the one with the little Zora and the guy, which, by the way, you guys said I should try to talk to her again, because apparently she just actually explained the whole size difference thing. Um, but first, real quick, uh, I want to actually... I, I realized I haven't actually... Uh, tried the the special bed here in Zora, the water bed. Dude, we talked before. Why are you surprised? Okay, blissful water bed. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just, I just keep bouncing. How am I supposed to sleep? Like, is it supposed to be really that comfortable? <laughs> I thought at some point it would end, but it never did. Yep, that's the bouncing beds! Bouncing water beds! Can't say I was particularly pleasant. Hopefully they're still over here. Uh. Oh, they are. <laughs> and Finn, and Finn! Oh, you! Thanks for helping the other day! Discussing important things with Sasan right now. Look how many brothers and sisters he has! Poor things like that! <laughs> Dee! Uh. Is there foods? Uh. <laughs> oh. May I had to talk to him. May I had to talk to you before uh, I got the quest or something. Uh, so we're out there, a bunch of animals. Uh, so you're so dreamy. There's so many more stories from your travel adventures. <laughs> it's still really cute though. This is the real village have really fluffy feathers. Uh, so you're. So <laughs> oh, right. does he keep saying something different every time? Uh, Groot Town is full of women. Uh, so you're so dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. But yes, you guys said she apparently at some point she actually does say that she's she's in this sort of awkward phase before becoming in a like where like her body hasn't caught up to the fact that she's actually an adult or something. I see. I kind of figured it was that way. Oh, this is new. Mifa, dear sister, are you still trapped inside the divine beast? You supported Link in his fight. So really nothing more I can do. Wish you were here to guide me. I miss you terribly. Oh, uh, oh, little Simon. Oh, I love you. I miss you too. You're such a good little brother. Now, now, who's, who's, a, who's now a really big, big brother? brother. <laughs> oh. Ah! Link! Oh. You, you heard all that, eh? But you got me in a moment of vulnerability. Can I help you in some way? Uh, you don't tell me anything new, do you? Nope. Oh, by the way, when you guys told me, so, uh, apparently the description for the, uh, the Royal Guard armor, uh, really underplays what its actual perk is. So it just says charge tax stamina up, but it's actually a lot more than that. It's... 
it's actually the the bonuses you get regarding stamina, the set bonuses, for all of your uh, all of those armors. So I get the climbing set bonus, uh, our stamina set bonus, the uh, one when I'm swimming in the water set bonus. Uh, again, the charge attack set bonus. So meaning when I when I have this equipped, I, I use less stamina when I'm jumping up mountains and when I'm dashing through water and things like that. So it's actually way better than they make it sound. I'm guessing they they were they were trying to, they were struggling with like how we do that in just like a few words. Say that it's all of them. I think maybe they pro they probably could have said something like like all stamina bonus or all set stamina bonus. I don't know. I mean that is kind of hard. That still probably would have been too long. But I actually tested it and it is. And when I so let's see, uh, I climb the side of this. Yep, see I'm using just the small bit of stamina. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. Unfortunately though, I mean, I don't get my, uh, like the ability to climb faster, so, and with the swim faster one, I, I don't get the ability to go waterfalls like I do with the Zora armor, so I think it's just like, I guess it's good if you're trying to dash through stuff quickly, but I still think the, the other armor, uh, that you use is probably still better, right? In the long run. This is probably maybe a nice thing get to, to get if you haven't already gotten that. But the thing is, this this stuff is so close to where the final boss is, you know, that it's, I can't see anyone actually getting this, like, right at the beginning of the game. Still cool, though. I, I really like his design. I think one of you guys said, actually, this is a reference to another uh, uh, Legend of Zelda game. Okay, well... So the final, you guys actually told me, so I, for Cass's quest, it seems that there is one out of all of them that uh, isn't related to any way, sh any way to shrines, and that's the one in Katano Bay, which I gotta find where that is. Um, that's sort of, it's sort of the odd one out in that respect. Oh, there it is. Actually, it's relatively close to Hatena Village as well. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I have finally a, a release date of the council, the next Council of Voices. I am close enough to the end that I feel like I absolutely know when I can get this ready. So, uh, it's actually gonna be the day after this video is posted. So, assuming this should be up on a Sunday, Council Voices will be up the next day. I kinda figured it was, it would be better for me to finish this series first, though, before, uh, posting the Council of Voices, cause, uh, you know, I, I, you want to get to the end of this so you don't feel like, like, oh, I'm like, blue balling you at the end of, for the end of Legend of Zelda, you know? Better to, to end something first before having to start something new. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, it sure is. I see him. Now I am not too surprised I didn't come across it. Holy shit, there are a lot of birds out here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Almost flamed to that one. Hey, man! Oh, I smell the sea. Well, hello. I so didn't expect to see anyone else up here. How fortunate to cross paths with you again. Did you come to see the sea? This oddly shaped rock pillar we're standing on is subject of a song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Oh. As you wish. <clears throat> An ancient hero spoke these words. One day, I'll return to fight evil. My cash is at 17 of 24. This rock will point towards its retrieval. Oh, okay. An item cash. My cash? Could it be a hidden cash stash of money? If it was left behind by the ancient hero that was defeated the Calamity 10,000 years ago, it must be a big amount. Good luck figuring it out. May the light illuminate your path. Wait, so I... Oh, okay. Did, did I left it behind for myself? That I already know where it is! 17 of 24. Okay, well, I don't see anything just from... Up here, which <laughs> I would I would say it's like if I could, then I was like that'd be way too goddamn easy. Seventeen of twenty-four. Are there twenty-four little rocks here. Uh, oh, there's something. Is that it? But see, look, I also got swimming stamina thing. Yeah, that's cool. Glad you guys point. One of you guys pointed that out. Is that, re is that really it? Go Rupee! Yeah! No, that was it! Really? I don't even... I'll be honest, I don't, I don't even know what, how I solved that. I don't know how that relates to the solution. Gas, can you tell me? Because I don't get it. I don't know if it means based on the number of rocks. Huh? What? So the, the hero's savings amount to nothing more than a single gold rupee. Mm. Huh. Well, hero though he was, he was much more rich in character than wealth. Still, that's a fair sum. Hope you'll make good use of it. No, I don't understand what the... 
what the solution was. Maybe it means out of like, so 1,700 hours would be five o'clock, right? And so it was kind of in that area, maybe. Whatever, I got it. It was, it was still pretty easy to brute force your way into getting that one too. All right, well with that, I think hopefully I have uh, not completed all your quests, Cass. Uh, oh, he's not in here. Oh, maybe he's gone back to Rito Village then. Now that his quest is finished. Cass, you here, man? <gasps> Yay, there he is. Oh, he's playing a song for the kids, yay! Uh, oh. oh my god! Cass, look what are you doing? Stop being so cute! Ah, oh, we meet again. I'm taking a moment's rest from my calling to enjoy some music frivolity with my daughters. Oh, these are all your kids! Holy shit! That's a lot of babies, dude! Though it may not be within my power, I commit my wish as a song that this peace might last forever. Mm. By the by, I have something I must ask of you. I need you to hear a song. If it pleases you, could you come back here later, after the sun is down? I'm so sorry for the trouble. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. He's, he's playing the song of the, of the town itself. I like how it's so seamlessly transitioned, too, when I walked over there. Hello. Don't tell me you come all this way just to hear an ancient Rito song. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were Cass's wife. Where, where is his wife? Are you the wife? Why are you coming out commenting on how awesome your husband is? Good day. Good day. <laughs> Good response. Great kids are great creators. That's what my dad always says. Oh, my God. You look just like him. <laughs> dad finally came back from work. Sounds like he got hurt. But he says he's got a lot better. He's got a lot better, so he'll be able to be flying in soon. Come back later, play with me! Okay. Oh my god, everyone's a fucking gift. Fuck. Stop it. Oh, that you're the you're her his husband. Okay. I brought my husband back. Tip to us. I really cannot thank you enough. He's singing with his daughters at the usual place. I'm sure they could use an audience if he could have some time to spare. Okay, cool. I was like, no way, come on. If his wife is around here, she's gotta fucking say something. I did this, all right? <laughs> I spent all this goddamn time doing shrines and listening to his songs. Oh, now the babies are sleeping. He's playing his own thing. Hey, man. Mm. Ah, there he is. Thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you, so this will take some time. Is that all right? <laughs> Let's do it later. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh. Thank you ever so much. I want to talk to you about my teacher. My teacher was of the Shika tribe. He was the court poet for the Hyrulean royal family. At the time, there was a beautiful princess in the royal family. Quite close to my teacher in age, apparently. Uh. Though he must have known it was doomed to be unrequited, my teacher fell in love with her. But the princess herself only had eyes for her escort, her own night attendant. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, golly gee, I wonder who that could be! <sighs> my teacher was consumed with jealousy. He fumed that the knight was neither nobility nor royalty himself. And then the calamity struck. My teacher believed a hero would appear to beat the calamity back. He poured that belief into a song. And that song is what I need you to hear. An ancient hero, a calamity appears, now resurrected after 10,000 years. Her appointed knight gives his life, shields a figure, and pays the price. Princess's love for her fallen knight awakens her power, but within the castle the calamity is forced to cower. Is he a prophet or something? But the knight survives. In the shrine of resurrection he sleeps, until from his healing dream he leaps. Her fierce and deadly trials await to regain his strength, fulfill his fate. To become a hero once again, uh, da 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 da, to wrest the princess from evil's den. Uh, the hero, the princess, hand in hand, must bring the light back to this land. Da, 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 da. There's so many different renditions of that. What's that song? My teacher fled the calamity and returned to his hometown of Kakarika Village. But on his way, he witnessed the princess's knight sacrifice himself to the, protect the princess. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was like, how the fuck did you know that happened? <laughs> The elder of Kakrika village, Impa, explained these circumstances to him, and his mind was made up. 
You must sing the songs of the hero who sealed the calamity away in age past. So they could be passed on to the night once he returned. Also, the princess might be saved. Those were my teacher's last words. Passed on now through me. So, do we not know who it is? So, appointed knight. Will you accept this song from my departed teacher? <laughs> no, there's no, uh, no option. <laughs> no, bye! <laughs> oh. Yes. Thank you so much. I knew you would. I was sure of it. My teacher would often speak of the princess's beauty. I would love to meet her and craft a song worthy of her. Thank you for spending this time with me. Aww. Mm. Thank you for accepting my teacher's song. I'll sing again if you wish. That's nah, alright, man. Of course. Please let me know if you want to hear it again. I can do naught but sing. I pray for your safety. Aw, Cass was cool. I really liked him. I liked his character. I, I like. I really like his design, too. I can see why everyone was gaga about him. Like, I remember, like, when I first came across it, everyone was like, Oh my god, it's fucking bird, what, bird husband, no. And I was like, really? Like, no, yeah, I totally, yeah, dude, you are, you are definitely bird husband, no material. All right, this were that, uh, that one game where I date pigeons, that you'd be all, I'd be all over you, bro. I don't give a shit if you're not a pigeon. You're my type of bird, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting a little uncomfortable now. Can you go? <laughs> all right, call me, bye. Oh, that was nice. I, I liked that. Again, it's like you could easily miss that, that last little bit, right? Actually, the fact that one of one of them was in, involved with the shrine, I imagine a lot of people probably did. But I'm really glad I got to see it, which is pretty much thanks to you guys. Cause I don't think I would have I would have realized it either. Okay, let's see if I can do a few of these side quests. I do. I would like to try to do the one with the four friends. So I don't know if they're all supposed to be around this path here. Like it's actually kind of weird because it was. Isn't it like before? Oh wait. I met him here. Why is it pointing me here? Is it telling me exactly where to go? Oh, it is telling me, isn't it? There's one right there. I'll save you! Hi there. Is this pal? I could have been the enemy. Uh -huh. Boy, I'm gonna get be sore tomorrow, filthy bottom feeders! So, blah, 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 your friends have been looking all over for you. Sami's kicking his feet up in the stable while he's being tortured by these sorry sacks. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind, all right? Piece of my fist too. Oh, it is. That, that's that's so weird. It usually doesn't do that. Usually, like it's like when you do these quests, it's like good, good. We, t we sort of give you a general direction. Good luck finding them, fuckface. They don't give me markers to exactly where they are. Um, <laughs> or actually, maybe the, that's the point. Maybe the marker is telling me. It's just giving me the general direction of where it is I, it, in this area. Wait, am I saved? Yes, sir, e, uh, big lips. I'm safe now. Who thinks this is Sami? As soon as the monsters show up, he ran away as fast as he could and left us for dead. <laughs> yeah, God, I cannot believe you guys are still alive, honestly. That happened like what? Like three months ago? <laughs> Who does that? Especially to a girl. Someone as beautiful as me. This Gerudo Canyon stable. If he thinks I'm going to forgive him, this has got nothing coming. <laughs> He's gonna really regret me. We're coming to save you guys, I think. I should have left you all to die! Okay, so one more. <laughs> oh, don't think so, son. <laughs> oh, I think I see him. Uh, spin it! Wait! Spin it! Wait! Come on! Sp no! That's not what I want to do! Spin! Spin! There we go! Gonna need to work on that. It's apparently, they do it in other games. I have a side of playing. Huh? Wait, are you a guy or a girl? You look like a girl, but you sound like a guy there. <laughs> well, I, but the monsters, did you get rid of them? Uh. Yes, sir. It's incredible. You're incredible. I'd be better than Sami. Yeah, yeah, so. That little uh. punk ass bitch, you let me to die. Sami's waiting stable. Did you come to save me? Mm -hmm. You said you mastered the martial arts, did he? Lie to me about that? Oh, this must be a misunderstanding. Okay, there we go. So, Tommy, you, you, you're gonna be fucking dead. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm, I'm gonna go back there. He's just lying dead on the floor. Hey, where's my money? <laughs> I saved y'all. Where's my goddamn money? <laughs> there they are. Uh, Hi. Oh, hey, I've, I've been waiting for you. Oh. You're still alive, I see. You saved them. I thought my friends were dead, but you brought them all back to me. They all, they're so happy to see me. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah. Can't thank you enough. 
Friends said you were outnumbered, but you were still able to take those monsters down with style. You looked hot doing it. As soon as they all got back safely, a wave of emotion washed over me. Thank you. Thank you so much. How much you have this? Now I know Now I know if I ever leave my friends to die, I can trust on you to save them. Right. <laughs> Sorry, it's so small. I've never chipped in for it, but we're in the middle of traveling, you know? Dude, that's fine, man. It's like 300. That's like the best I can hope for in these situations. No way, I'm glad, kind of glad all this happened. Help me realize just how important friendship is. But up to others might make you more vulnerable, but it's also the only way to give your life any value. That said, caring for others is an emotional liability, so my friends and I have all decided to part ways. <laughs> oh my god! There we go! Care for others! <laughs> Who has time for friends anyway? <laughs> I'm gonna die alone! <laughs> I'm sure what the takeaway is here. <laughs> I fu- oh, okay, good. Goodbye forever, friends! I used to sign my way to come to save me. It's about some guards with a sort of legend and attempt to dodge the conversation. Sami was a big wuss. Then I realized that I'm the wussiest of all. Instead of try trying to help myself out of that mess, I cower wait for someone else to help me. So I've said I split from the group. He stopped relying on us to help me and Aww. help myself instead. Maybe once I learn how to help myself, I'll be able to help others. Like, help, 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 help. I was gonna yell at Sasami for leaving me to die. And actually, I did and beat the shit out of him. But as soon as I saw my face, I he was gonna start sobbing. Big wuss. Can't be mad at him for being scared. It's just the way he is. Uh. He's just born a little pussy. Well, thanks for the help. If you ever get a chance to save you, I'll take it. Well, actually, I need some help with- No, never mind, bite. You didn't come along. Oh, thanks for saving me. Aww. I had no idea traveling was so dangerous. There was nothing like this in the travel guidebook. You definitely look like a tourist. Because you can't assume anything until you experience it for yourself. Just figure out what traveling is in my thing. <laughs> I want to go out to your walls and head back home. I think the fear that going home isn't the option for you, so you take care of yourself. Yep, gotta save everybody here. Oh, your swordsmanship. Something straight from the tales of the legendary hero said to have saved Hyrule during the calamity. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> the steel legends are a hundred years old. You are in the flesh. Mound a hero. <clears throat> Excuse me for paddling on. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. Good. Yes. Because friendship is magic. Okay, I wonder about this good sized horse thing. It kind of makes me wonder is it really like, is it going to be like some obscure thing? I come back with a deer and not a horse? Or a donkey, or something. I wonder if I can give him one of my horses. If I can, maybe I'll just give him Taco or something. Definitely not Bernie, though. Or any of the other ones, honestly. Mm -hmm. Taco! This thing's still wild as shit, too. Yeah, I've actually figured out a way you can sort of, like, spam the Bond thing. If you, uh, have them speed up like that, the moment they stop, they slow down again, you can Bond with them. That's been a little... Little tips and tricks from Nika Bizzle. Uh oh. Ah! Oh no, what the hell? Rocks! Oh, motherfucker, seriously? You pieces of shit. Ah. There we are. Must have good horse. Here you go, dude. Oh, hey, that horse looks just like my old partner. Talk about a fine horse. Wow, what are the odds of that? Yeah, his name is Taco, and he likes to eat tacos. It'll work with you, but you make sure you're near a Taco Bell or something. You gonna have the horse? Sure, dude. Oh. Hey, really? No, this is for keeps, right? Sure, it's all, <laughs> it's all yours. Taco's kind of an asshole anyway. Three rupees. I love you, dude. Okay, cool. I, I thought it was gonna be some weird shit. Like, I keep bringing back horses. He's like, no, this was not good enough. No, not this one. And then, so he ended up buying some some obscure thing. Buy for my new partner, my new best buddy and traveling attendant. <laughs> Five seconds later. Oh, I lost him. Up we go, me and my partner. You'll have good travels. I'm just gonna hijack. <laughs> oh my god, how funny it would be if I, if I just come over and knock him off the horse. Ah, I'll smell you later, loser. Oh, god damn you. I got the money. Run, Taco. Can you believe he bought that? Saying a horse likes tacos? What a stupid asshole. <laughs> now, let us go defeat the Frost Talus of Hoodly Doodly. Actually, you know what? I thought about it. I think I might have already done this one. Was it Cold Snap Hollow? It was. <laughs> you defeated it. I could, if I just had talked to him a second time. I realized it after I went to edit last episode. And I should have realized if I remember when I was actually back here with with Cass. It also would have been nice. But yeah, I had already, already killed him before. I will say I like that they actually do remember that though. Like even before you started the quest, if you want to kill that thing that they wanted you to kill, it still counts. Because I feel like a lot of games would be like, nope, you gotta wait till you initiate the quest before you go do the thing. I mean, I get it. It makes sense, but at the same time, it's still annoying. <laughs> So I'm glad that they uh, they didn't go that route. Yeah, I feel like sometimes 
especially in regards to ga video games, some things go. don't have to make sense, you know? Sometimes it's just a, just a quality of life thing, you know? Morning, Nisa. Nice I feed it. I'd actually feed it before. I just forgot to talk to you again. Okay. How oh, you take down something that big? No offense. That's a relief. The thing had wanted this way, the entire village would have been in danger. We've been doomed. Here you go, silver rupee. All right. Okay. So I have that side quest with the. We're gonna show the bugs to that uh, that girl's sister, and uh, <laughs> I, I I decided to just look up where we're kind of getting electric darner. Cause I, I had a feeling Beetle probably sells it somewhere, right? And yep, it turns out he sells it at the Riverside Stable. So I've noticed that it, he'll t he tends to sell like one of each type of a bug at these stables. So even if you can't find it yourself, you can easily just get it from him. The hard part is finding, you know, which stable does he sell the right thing that you want. Hey, dude! <laughs> Looks like you're almost out with this game! <laughs> yep. Almost finished. Oh, yes, there it is. Wow, it's really, it's only 10? Kind of surprised you only <laughs> charge a 10 for it. Seriously, I, I haven't come across a single one of these things. This entire goddamn Let's Play. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! And tireless frogs, though. Those are 100. I've come across a million of those. Okay. Hey, morning. But enough about that. If you scared of warm door, cold or electric donor. Right. In that case, may I have them? Mm. Ew. But I can't do this. Please give them to her. Just give it to her. Give it to her. Fine. Be a fucking pussy about it. Here you go, little girl. Yeah. Oh, hi, mister. Mm. Uh, what, what, what? These are for you. Your little dragonflies. Really? What is it? What is it? What? Wow, real life dragonflies! It's really for me? Oh. Hey, big sis! Look at me! It's a real life warm daughter! And a cold air and a electric daughter, too! Yeah, that little electric one was a pain in the ass to get her. I'd be good to that. I'll bring him over so you can see! <laughs> no! Don't do it! <laughs> hey, cut it out! No! No! She died that day. Where's my reward, lady? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mister. Thanks so much for the dragonflies. Big sister and the, sh the sheep are all doing just great. Oh, good. Uh, hey, hey, managed to calm down. Somehow. Now then, must thank you for catching those dragonflies. But fuck you for having them show having your show those to me. It wasn't my fault. I'd tell them to do it. Here, take this. Hundred dollars, all right. Almost insects. The only ones I catch so many get sad are dragonflies. I think about them looking at me with those evil eyes. Huh. Seriously? You know, like, dragonflies are basically like bigger flies, right? They got like, except like a big butt and bigger wings. <sighs> huh. That was rough. Okay, I need to take a deep breath. Okay, good. That was finally fucking done. All right, now to do one that I, God, I have, again, been ha sitting on for ages, and that is finally the Zora Stone Monuments. I've gotten most of them, I think. But again, unfortunately, I don't know how many I have left. I know there's at least one. I think there was like the, the part, history part two that I haven't read yet. I was thinking this is good though, because I also want to, you know, learn more about the Zora, because I found the, the little history about them has been very interesting. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'll tell you the location was still my Oh, okay, cool, tell me. Oh. Try to remember. Uh, to <laughs> Rolls the dice toss! <laughs> Got it! Sit in this area here. Eastern Grove of the Zodamon Highlands. Oh, okay. Thank you. Two left. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I said roll the dice. Uh, okay. In the Zodamon Highlands. Oh, over here. Okay. All right. I better, I'll just teleport up to the Rudo then. Is that it right there? Part five. The sage princess Rudo has told by King Draffin. Long, long ago, in a more distant past than the ever... Even the Great Calamity or the creation of the Divine Beast Val Ruta. There's a Zora princess named Ruto. We know that she was an attendant to the Zora patron deity and that she was a fair and lively girl, beloved to all. Around the same time, an evil man with the designs on ruling the world appeared, bringing disaster upon Zora's domain. Instead, the Ruto then awoke as a sage, facing this foe alongside the Princess of Hyrule, the hero of legend. Her achievements are remembered not only by the Zora, but they are also forever etched in the history of Hyrule. The divine beast Vav Ruto built ages later to face off against Calamity Ganon was named in honor of Ruto. That Zora Princess, my sweet daughter Mifa, was chosen to pilot Ruta, is surely the work of fate. Oh, interesting. I wonder, again, is that going to be in another uh, Zelda game? It probably is, saying we fall alongside uh, the Hero of Legend. I think, from what I could tell, it seems like this game is like 
the most, the, the furthest into the timeline. Okay, there's only one left. Oh. I knew it. I wonder how many hours it would take someone to get all 900 Korok seeds. Even with a guide, it would take an absurdly long goddamn time. All the more reason it isn't worth it. <laughs> I won't need to roll the dice of the house for this one. The reading one is here. Northern Cliff of Orn Bridge. Okay, thank you. How do you even know which ones I've seen already, old man? I don't know. <laughs> If I can see which ones you've read, why do I even need you to go and look for them for me? Oh. Right there. Yeah, bruh. Yep, there it is. Reservoir Hope, part two. Still by King Graffin. Once every ten years, the Lanayru Lan region experiences unusually heavy rainfall. The Zora River flooded every time. The tides damaged not only our domain, but our people, washing away poor souls and causing great suffering and disarray. The Zora King of F that time, after seeking aid from the King of Hyrule, rode out to see what could be done. By joining the architectural genius of the Zora and Hyrule's technological prowess, East Reservoir Lake was swiftly built. Thanks to this fruitful partnership, Hyrule was no longer plagued by the, those devastating floods. In gratitude, the Zora King promised the King of Hyrule to manage the reservoir level to protect the Hyrule from, from floods. Each Zora King's census kept that oath. It's been 10,000 years. That is why the reservoir signifies our bond with Hyrule. Ah, I see. Okay. And I did it. Oh, good. You know, I get that the, the game wants to encourage exploration, but this one in particular was really tough just because, like, this area is so samey looking, and so are these monuments. They all look the goddamn same. So it's just, it's really hard to tell, like, okay, which ones have I have I gotten already? And all right, old man, fucking did it. It took me, like, 13 episodes. Link, it would seem you have checked all stone monuments for me. Now then, please tell me what was written on them. Hmm. History, culture, folklore, and various heroic acts of the proud Zor people. It's all here. Eureka, thanks to you, I've compiled the precious information from those stone monuments. <laughs> thank, thank you for taking on such an arduous task. Please let me reward you. Ooh, a diamond! Thank you! Alright, cool. Just for funsies, I'm gonna check real quick and see, uh, compare my list of completed side quests to, uh, ones that, uh, just see if I've managed to get at least most of them. Because those are all the, those are all the side quests that I currently have. But as I've seen when I've, uh, was going around before, it still seems pretty easy, to, it's pretty easy to miss one. Okay, there actually are, I think, four that I haven't come across yet. That I actually haven't, haven't done yet, so. Just for fun, just so I can say I've done everything, and since I know that this will likely be a shorter episode if I uh, just go straight to the end, well, let's just, let's just knock these out real quick. And I truly say I've done everything there is to do in this game, aside from get every Korok seed. Boo! You okay, buddy? Holy shit, I think I can kill this person. Are you the quest giver I've been looking for? Look, someone to ease her up. You might wake it up. Look up. Look up. What's that? Oh, no. Come on. Fuck off. This ain't no time. I ain't got no time for you guys. Wow. You all right? Seriously. Okay. There we go. No, that's not. Look, you see the guy who stood around watching get beat up. Look, hope next time. What do you mean? I didn't stand around. I just keep flying by. Oh, uh, interesting. So if you, if I just, if they, if I don't get to them in time, I guess they don't give me anything. Where the fuck is this person? Oh, here we go. What should I do? I'm terrified of deep water. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's lost in thought. Lost in thought? Can't believe I'm about to share this with you, but I'm absolutely stumped. You see that strange shape down at the bottom of the river? Sorry to make out, but I'm pretty sure it's a treasure chest. I forgot how to fish it out of, out of there. This is some kind of machine or something to get out of there. Oh, dude. No, you silly nugget. All you need is a big magnet. Like this. Look at this. What the fuck? Oh, holy shit! Oh, oh, oh my god, the chest is attacking me! There you go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, treasure chest! Crab, I can't believe to get the treasure chest out of there! What the fuck? Hurry up and open it! No, I don't give a shit, but <laughs> You open it! You want to see so goddamn badly? Ooh, a real broadsword. Nice. Oh. What kind of wizard do you use? That's incredible. Yeah! 
It's inside the treasure chest. It was a sword. What? A cool sword, you say? Whatever. I didn't really want that life-changing treasure anyway. It's, I mean, what am I going to do with a sweet, awesome sword that I can hang in my house to get all the ladies with? Or at least I can relax on it. I know it was inside. Thanks. Give me that sword. <laughs> Mother my... <laughs> no, it's my sword, bitch. Don't come anywhere near me. Oh, it's, uh, it's this guy again. I traveled with so many horses before. Really appreciate it. Seriously. Next year, I made it back to civilization. Yeah, after I got back, I'm in nice private selling too. What the fuck? You sold taco? I mean, hey, take great care of the horse. Trust the partner. Real great. Oh my god. Fuck this dude. That's why the whole thing that was too close. Motherfucker, you think we live through that? You think we live after hearing that? You sold taco? Oh, bitch. Ugh. Hope you said your prayers now. Go! Oh! <laughs> Uh, sorry, horsey. I was trying to hit him. Oh, here we go. You're finally here. Mm, so it's true. I'm at the hero of Hyrule in the sacred tree. Oh, uh, 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 what? Yes, I am the hero. Wow. I knew it was you. Sword leaves no doubt. Room for doubt. So I'm to finally meet you. It's still something I've been saying for you. Please take it. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it feels so good to check that off the bucket uh. list. I bet you, so at least Simon's gone. You're not even my type. <laughs> kind of sh you're even shorter than I am. That's just because I'm standing low on the hill, all right? I'm tall. Sorry, buddy. Well, to Lou. <laughs> I got the side quest, my hero. I completed the side quest, my hero. <laughs> I'm guessing you needed the uh, the master sword. Yep, we showed her the master sword. She knows you were the one she'd been waiting for all her dumb life. And then she was over you five seconds later. So there's actually another quest at the Scrooge stable. Oh, there it is. Buddy, got any rush rooms? Uh, What's the matter? Need some crack? See, I'm, I'm tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. I first tried rush rooms when I was five years old. But addicted, man. Gotta think I ate them every day since without fail. Back in the day, I wouldn't ever race a brand thanks to those things. Uh, Give me just the juice I need, baby. Uh. Isn't, that, isn't this stuff illegal? Shh. Not if you know the right people. Cut to 55 years later. And I can barely drag these bones off the ground without these rush rooms. I'm gonna die because of these things. I don't give a shit. I'm all in, baby. But no matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just told to get up the chillest cliffs to pick up brushes where they grow. Uh. So I'm letting able body source know that I'm in the market for them. Give a diamond for 50, 55? Holy shit. Ooh, I don't know if I have that many. Nope, not even fucking close. God damn, 55, oh. man. I brought him. Here you go. I got stuff. Don't deal 55, bitch. I do it all at once, all right? It's not enough. It's never enough. Oh, well, I got some right here. Oh, they're, God, they're all over the place in this area. God damn, 55? Fine, I'll do it, old man. But only because I know it. I understand you need, all right? To get that fix. Get that fix, boy. Oh, hey! That's interesting. Look at that. The Zalfos arm. I can chuck like a boomerang. I was just trying to toss it away, but <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, I didn't realize I could do that with those. It's like a castle and learn new stuff in this game, you know? Okay, 55. Oh, my God. That took fucking forever. Yes, grinding for rush rooms, the much more laborious way of obtaining diamonds than just getting, like, luminous stones or something. I think I better get a fucking good high from this shit, all right? Because that was not easy. It's so, like, mushrooms are everywhere, but yet you can only get one at a time, as opposed to, like, luminous stones, which come in deposits, and which tend to drop at least two. And I only need ten of those to get a freaking diamond. Or ten, or twenty, or whatever. Either way, considerably less than fifty-five fucking mushrooms. It's not enough. Never enough. Hey, hey, come back. Bring the stuff. I promise, man. Yeah, oh, good. Alright, go ahead and just stick it right up my ass. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's suppository, don't you know? Oh, I didn't. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Yep, yeah, all there. Good. Good. If that rock, I promise you, behind the stable. <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously, this really feels like a drug deal. Beats me why anyone will go such trouble such a little old rock. You're gonna get 55 of those damn things, you realize that? Right, the mushrooms any day of the week. Come on, when you get more. More here, I give you. Can't give you more dollars. I can't offer twice the market value for him. Oh, okay. Seriously? Okay, never mind. So it was only diamond one time. Remember that one deal, Nate? Other than 55. It's fucking ridiculous, alright? It's almost as ridiculous as 900 goddamn Koroks. Yep. Ugh. 
Okay. Okay, I think there's only one one last side quest I haven't done yet, and I think it's in Rito Village. I can't believe there's somebody here that I got a side quest from yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, huh. Hey there, good day. So you stay in Rito Village too? Huh. Yeah. I see nice to be a fellow admirer. Kinda of sickly looking, aren't you? I always like the simple nature of this oh. village. Although I'm starting to regret choosing this as my honeymoon destination. It's really cold here. There's not much to do, so my wife is complaining on stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Oh man, this isn't work. She's going to divorce me for sure. Can you make me some baked apples to keep my wife happy. I don't have any flint to start a fire. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's your wife. I actually already gave her the baked apples, dude. Yeah, she loves me now. Didn't you get the memo? She's already divorced your ass and married me, idiot. What the fuck? But anyway, here's your flint. Uh, bye. <laughs> no. I already flint to start a fire. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. This promise is your payment. Hundred dollars for a piece of flip? It's just everywhere. You realize that, right? I can make some baked apples. Oh yes, yes, yes! And the final side quest is complete, guys. I have now done everything there is to goddamn do in this game. Every side quest and every shrine, every main quest and every divine beast, except for the Koroks, because fuck that. Ah, you know what that means, guys. It's time. It's finally fucking time to save. Hyrule! Da, 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 da. All right, time to put on my good pants. Here we go, guys. Ugh, 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 yeah. Ugh, I'm so ready. Put on my fucking, ugh, oh, my blade saw. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going in the fucking front door, guys. I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. I know I can start right there, but fuck it. Going on this side, going right in that goddamn front door. I'm gonna slay anyone who gets to my demon way. That's not good. Uh, uh, oh, knock your leg off. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh I'm fucking. Oh, I'm gonna cripple you, you piece of shit. Uh, uh, ah, that leg, too. Ah, oh, this one. That's right, you ain't got nothing now. You ain't got nothing but your stupid fucking face. Uh, uh oh. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> oh, that could have ended badly. <laughs> that was awesome. I've cut off I've cut off one of their legs before. I don't I've never actually like gotten all of them like that. Hey, fuck face. Get out of my way. Alright, guys. This is it. The moment of truth and justice. It's time to finally go save our girl. It's about oh, goddamn god time. time! I don't know if we'll be able to survive this, alright? We might die before we get to the top of that castle. Why are you Why acting are like we haven't already done, done this, this like three, three times, times before? Shut up! Alright? Those times didn't count. This is for real, right? This is for real this time. All right, Team Ghost, let's do this. Yes, let's go kick some ass. I am so goddamn demon ready. My abs are tingling. Here we go. Breaking in that fire fucking front door. Here we go. Wheelie. Uh, oh crap! I got it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm coming in the front fucking door. I'm running my goddamn cycle up to you. Here we go. I'm coming at it. Whoa, what's happening? I'm moving too quick, apparently. Ah. Wait, where? Ah, ah. Hey, where's the eyeball for this? Oh, there it is. Open your dumb eye, dude. Ah. I got top of you scrubs. My opponent's right there. At the top of the highest tower. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah. Motherfucker, I'll fight you on my goddamn motorcycle. That's right. Don't give a shit. Uh, uh, uh. It's a little hard to do in this close combat. Oh no 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 no! Do not drop the blade saw. Now we'll get back on the bike. Don't you demon do it? Here I come. Uh. Uh. Boom. Uh. 
These right guys are nothing to me now. For some reason, these guys don't drop their fucking gear, but whatever. I don't think getting around that goop. I'm blocked. Now, time to use what I learned from the Zora. Yes! Good! You and Link! Ah, waterfall time! Ah! Fly! Oh shit. Ah! Ah, sh that is not good! Ah! Uh, this isn't where I want to be right now! Oh, for God's sakes! Oh, okay. Now! Ravali's Gale! Uh, you stop that! You too! I see little eyeballs, little shits. Open your eyes. Yeah. Uh. 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 Second gatehouse. Uh. 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 Blaze all power. Now my place has been badly damaged. You know what that means? Ah, fuck you. God damn it. Oh my god, the fucking hit, hit effect on that is ridiculous. Urgh, get out of my goddamn way. I'm coming, Zelda. I got here as fast as I could. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm coming, baby girl. Uh, uh, while still on the motorcycle. Ah. Oh Ready shit. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, don't stop. There's no time. Yes. There it is, guys. Alright. I will leave you here. Farewell, noble steed. You have served me well. And to you too, Bernie. Ah, it is time. I think I'm gonna face some. I'm gonna face Ganon with my classic gear here. The Master Sword, the Hylian Shield, and the Champion's Tunic. It's the only way. I'm going old school, this motherfucker. Alright, Ganon. Zelda? Oh, wait, nope, she's dead. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, well, oh, ugh. oh, such awesome power. I'm kind of curious to see if Zelda is, is she's gonna be like an old woman now, you know? Well, like she should be, right? Oh, yeah! Oh, what is this power now? Oh, you broke the hole on the floor, you big dumb Ganon. Holy shit. All right, guys, you ready? I'm ready. You bet your biscuits. I am going to kick this little tentacle thing's ass. I was born ready. I spent 20 rupees on this goddamn moment. All right, guys. Yeah, oh. Yeah, you're looking a little crispy there, man. Calamity Ganon! At least you still got the class beard, right? Red beard and red hair and shit. Oh, Lord. Scourge of Hyrule! Here we go. Now my moment has finally come. Oh! Yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. It's time! Oh, final Flash! Holy shit! This will be our final opportunity. Oh, Mifa, yeah, baby. Let's go, little guy. Uh, Drokus ready. Uh, 
A hundred years in the making. Hold on, Princess. Our moment has arrived. Oh my god, you guys have been holding back this whole time. Oh! Again, like, huh? What the hell? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh! oh, holy shit! Oh, so much. Oh my god, it knocked off half his health already. Wow, guys, thanks. Did we win? Didn't you see the health bar, you stupid idiot? You got ancient, ancient claws of gears or something, or weapons or whatever. All right, now it's my turn. Oh, give me that light. Let's go. Oh, it's a big fucking claw crab thing. Keep Arbosa's fury! Oh yeah, knocked him out. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, we go, man. Where you going? Stop crab walking. Oh shit. Uh, you fool, you'll kill us all! Uh, yeah. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, I can't see your help! Damn it, champion stick! Don't fail me now! Oh god, that was that fire move! I'm fire black in it! Alright, here we go! Oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh, I don't think so! Thanks to Root! No problem, bro, I got you! Fucking got you! Ugh. Ugh. Oh yes, flurry rush! Here we go! Oh shit, he's getting pissed. Oh power! Oh shit, what the hell is he doing? He's turned red, red hot! He's super hot! Ugh. Oh shit, oh shit! Ugh. Yes. Perfect timing, Robosa. Ah, fuck. Ah. Okay, actually, a little earlier would have been nice. Oh, lift me up. Uh, uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get your ass down here. Ah. I ain't done with you yet, boy. Ugh. Ah. Come on, hit me. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Did myself that time. No, not this day. Not this day. Final blow. Let's see, got another form. You might. Oh, Ganny. So, what, what happened to you, man? I don't remember you being all this, this goofy before. <laughs> oh, oh, your giblets are raining down, man. Ugh. Uh, how many serious shower after this?
Oh, yes! Hammer! Did I get him? All done. See, it would have only taken you ten minutes to save me! Did you spend all that time dicking around anyway? Oh, yeah, that was it. I think? Ganon was born out of a dark past. Oh. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil. Oh, evil shit! Time and time again. No, never mind. He has oh, given my up science. And assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Is that a Pona? Dark Beast Ganon! Oh shit, here we go! I didn't think it would be another form! Of course there's always another form. What am I thinking? Oh! A powerful weapon in the face of evil. Oh yes, give it to me. Oh wait, sorry, out of inventory space. You may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power. Of your memories. But courage need not be remembered. That's right. It is never forgotten. Dan's like, man, I should grab that before he gets it. That's cool. I am. I, I'm riding an opponent, I think. Bow of. Oh my god! Bow of light! Princess Silla give you his bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. Moved by a hero, fires arrows of pure light, strong to oppose the calamity. Oh, here we go. 100 damage. Here we go. Come on, Apana! Yeah. Okay. Always go for the blowing points. Yes. Is that glowing? No. Our cat is glowing a lot. There's a lot glowing. Ah! You're holding back the malice. Oh. Do I need special arrows or something for this? Wait, do I have the right thing equipped? Do I have to, like... Oh, okay. I still got my engine bow equipped. I was like... Oh, yeah, there we go. Urgh. Ah. Urgh. Oh, come on, come on, hit him. Why is it hitting? There we go. Butter Mike! Yes, good. Sorry, I found out, but I feel like my butter bike's more reliable. Like, because I can churn when I'm actually going fast. Ganon, where are you going? I'm over here, you idiot! Oh, guys, I'm about to take a giant Ganon poopy on me! Oh, fuck, he's killing everybody! There's a, where is he going? Cool! Alright. The Roots protection is ready, bitch! Oh, uh, yes! Okay, what we got left? I'm going for the inside of your mouth. Oh god. Oh god, it's a big one coming. Ugh. Where's the last one? There! Ugh. Ah! We're so demon close. I think he's also close because the sky's turning red now. Blink. Look up there. Where? Oh, 
Oh my god! I see it! Glowing! Do what you must, I will do what I must! Open that big fat eye ears, bitch! Come on, daddy's right here! Oh, oh god! Come on! Come on! What do you want me to do? Throw a bomb at you? I'm gonna stay the all entirety of Ganon. No, maybe not. Come on. Come on. Oh! Thank you, Mifa. I got your back, son. Fishy Wafu, best Wafu! Ah, oh, shit. It only opens for like two seconds. Oh, there it is, shit. It's open, I couldn't tell. So much glow. Okay, now he's aiming for me. I sure he's actually looking like a pig now. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Where is it going with that? Uh. Uh. Oh, come on. How am I not hitting it? Lift me up. Ah! Uh, so much hot fucking pink. Zelda, were you in there the whole time? Nope, she's still young and smoking hot, baby. Yeah. Dad's right here, girl. I got you. Oh, so the real daddy's right here, too. Die, you big dumb pig. The power. Yes. Oh, holy shit! Oh, uh, I'm melting somehow. Oh, fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm a dragon pig. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Hurts too much. You're not going anywhere, motherfucker. Oh. be the one to kill him, Zelda. Fuck you, you took 500 years to get here. And I'm not referring to the 100 years you were sleeping. <laughs> Destroy Ganon complete. Oh, that's nice that it actually did that. Show me getting my final main quest getting completed. How often does that happen, right? Unless you're playing Skyrim where the game essentially never ends. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, Aww. well, I always believed, the classic that song. you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. Ah. May I ask? Would you fuck me? Do you really remember me? Hell yeah, girl. That'd be awesome if I said my first word here. I was just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just answer your questions. Come over, just grab her and start making out. Oh, come, come on, on, really? In front, in front of me, Link? Link? You knew this was coming. You're, You're right, right, I, I did. did. Aww. Yay! The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Oh. Da, 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 da. Na, 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 na. Ba, na.
Ah. Oh, so good. So good. Well, he finally did it. Just took him like 200 hours, but he did it. Now he's fucking that girl like a crazy monkey. Like I knew he would. All those years ago, I was like, that boy's got a hell of a libido. He's going to plant his seed and let create the next king <coughs> of this world. That's right, it's gonna be a way better king than you ever were, old man. Shut yeah, up, I, I did, did my, my best, best all right? I, I, I did my kingly and fatherly duty of being, being an asshole. asshole. Hey, dude, it's me. Dad, are you proud of me, Dad? I'm not, I'm not your, your dad, dad, you idiot. idiot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nico's just a ding dong. <laughs> I'm like a few generations ahead of you. Are you proud of me, loser dad? <laughs> sure, sure, whatever. Or, yes, yes, the giant, giant lizard's your dad. Great, 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 great grandpa is real proud of you. Aha! Prince Sidon's here holding the fort down. Until my brother in law returns. In which case, he will marry my ghost of a sister. Yeah, sorry, I've uh, already kind of like married Zelda. What? Yeah, it just kind of happens spur of the moment thing, you know? Real big ceremony. We had lots of people, lots of food, weeks of preparation. It was really just kind of just spur of the moment, you know, like, whoa, yeah. Well, that's okay. We don't care. We don't, we don't believe in monogamy here. Go ahead. Marry my sister, too. Yay! Everybody wins. Best ending. Harem ending. <laughs> That's right, I'm, I'm joining your waffle, waffle hair, your, your fishy, fishy waffle, waffle harem, Link. Because that is the ending everyone wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I'd be like, what? <laughs> That's the actual canon ending. He's got, he got Zelda, we got Mifa, we got Paya. We got Side in there too. He's like, yes, I'm part of the harem. Yay! And I also just got the entire Gerudo, Gerudo town. That's part of my harem. My harem of diesel ass ladies. Oh yeah. Oh, Guru Town was best fucking place in this whole freaking whole freaking game. So good. That whole town was just gold. All the most adorable people. Most adorably jacked girls. Her post says the story of what would have happened to Sai if she'd gotten just a serious six pack. Yep. yep. And Rivali was, was never never, for, for, never forgotten, forgotten. For being an incredible douche. But a sympathetic incredible douche. And in the end. Isn't that something we all hope to be? No! No, not at all! I think you need to get your priorities worked out. Shut, Shut up. up! And so the Nintendo Switch was put where it... Put back where it belonged. With, With me! me! Yay! Yeah, I got my, my Switch back. back. And, I'm and I'm back, back to, to being, being a ghost. ghost. That just, just makes, makes fun, fun of people and random, random adventures that come by. by. Hello, Hello, fellow traveler. traveler! You're the You're first person I've come across in 30 years, years which, which therefore makes you the chosen one. one. Oh, man, you said I was the chosen one, though! No, I was just kidding. You were some guy I came across. So, yeah, that's how I picked who the chosen one is! You just gotta say hi to me. That's it. Now, where were we, Link? Pretty sure I was examining your tonsils with my tonsils. Oh, yeah. Nintendo is the author of the software for the purpose of copyright. All right was reserved. In other words, we waited till you finish the series, Nico, before BOOM! Copyright strike! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so we get it all in one foul swoop. Knock on wood. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't do that, please. Well, uh, now what do we do? We rebuild, Link. We rebuild. Old man? Link, it, it is time. time. We, we must, must all, all depart. depart. Oh no! But, but, I thought you said you'd stay with me forever. I, I lied, Link. Link. I just went to you to finish this game. game. It's all right, all right, see you later, later buddy. buddy. I will always love you, Link. I will always, always make, make fun, fun of you, Link. Link. See, see you later. later. Ciao. Ciao. Aw. You know, these guys were annoying as fuck, and I thought I'd, all I wanted was them for them to leave me alone, but now they're gone. It just seems so quiet. The end. No, I'm just kidding, I'm still here. Ah, damn it! We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Faruta looks like it stopped working. That 
Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do. And so many painful memories that we must bear. And so many more babies to be made. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond. Even further beyond. Let's be off. Just busy staring at that booty. Oh, I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> Yep, that's it. We've reached the end. That was good. I enjoyed that ending. It was very nice. Uh, definitely pretty simple, but could have done with probably a little more making out. But you know, I, it's kind of I feel about every ending, right? <laughs> there's never, there's never enough making out. Oh, they do have a like a, a star next to it, so like a new game plus. Oh wait, everything's back to shit again. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys told me that apparently uh, after you beat the game, if you talk to Kilton, he actually will uh, say something different. So. Ah, oh, that heavenly smell. They've been mingling with monsters. Must have been a bit jealous. Good evening. How may I help you? About monsters. What you know about monsters? I just love talking about monsters. Ooh. Let's talk about the huge ones. Stone Colossus, the forest giant. The giant sand beast. Which monsters do you want to hear about? Stone Colossus? Or stone is it commonly known as the Stone Talus? Uh. Oh. I'm just so bad I can't get near them. Oh, so I can ask you to find them and uh, harvest the materials. I'm talking all of them. That way I'll be able to analyze the scent of the fluids and inevitably stick to your body during battle. Let me determine the habits, behaviors, and overall qualities. Oh, okay. Forest giant, also known as the, as the Hinox. There are 40 of them. I'm currently after them myself, but they're so big, I can't get near them. Wow, okay. 40 giant sand beast, the Molduga. There are only four of them. So then I guess it gives you something? Yeah, I didn't have anything new here. I guess mean, whatever it is, it's probably just like a Easter egg thing, but <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. So, but I'm done. All right, guys. Well, with that, I believe I am totally done with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, my final thoughts on the game? I fucking loved it. It was great. It was so much fun. So much fun. Seriously, th this game has a ton of character, like, like, even just, like, the littlest NPCs, like, they really just, I feel like, fleshed out everybody. Not just with the art style, but with the dialogue. You know, everyone felt interesting. Even, like, the, the stock was remind me a lot of, uh, Nier Automata. And that, the really, overall, were mostly just basic fetch quests. I mean, some of them were definitely, really were just fetch quests. And there was nothing more than, like, hey, thanks a lot. Here you go. Here's some money. Uh, a lot of them had, like, you know, good character building and story moments uh, with these people that were, you're doing it with. And they were just straight up fucking adorable, you know? You're just like, like, ah! Like, I know I'm just following a pot down river, just collecting some dumb item to bring to you, but still, ah! And, you know, that, Nier Automata was kind of the same way. Like, it didn't really have, like, the, the quests they had you do weren't really all that uh, unique or original or anything, but it was still enjoyable because of other stuff surrounding that. I thought the gameplay was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the, uh, I guess, sort of survival mechanics to it. It's not, wouldn't really, I don't know if I would say full-on survival, really. Maybe, maybe survival isn't really the right term. Because, I mean, it's more like, 
you're not really eating to because you're hungry. It just it's just to make sure your HP doesn't fall to zero. But like surviving the the weather and uh, other elements and stuff, getting all the cool different armor um, with all its different effects, having the fairies upgrade it was all really enjoyable. I love the art aesthetic of this game. It is really just gorgeous. Looks great on Nintendo Switch. You know, it's like I feel like Nintendo has always been like you know a few steps behind other generations, uh, other console generations, like the Xbox and the PlayStation, but they always make up for it in an amazing art style, you know? And science is, that's all it takes, it's all that you need. You don't need like super ridiculous, ultra realistic looking graphics to make uh, a memorable game. The music in this game was, was gorgeous. A lot of it was sort of just ambiance and stuff, but uh, the ones in the cities, I love the remixes of like the original classic tunes. That was all really enjoyable. I like how the world felt really lived in, you know? So I, I, uh, you know, when I was like going around like saving people, getting attacked by monsters and stuff, they would help you out, give you some item or some food, you know? It really made your adventure feel like your own adventure and like, you know, someone else probably didn't run into that or didn't see that thing happen. And Cause yeah, this game was very different, very different from uh, the, uh, the few Zelda games I have played. And it was, but I really thought it was they did a great job with it, you know? They took it and they ran with it and they they knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. The story was definitely simple, all right? I've, I've seen a lot of people, I think, I heard main critiques about it is that the story was like too simple and we didn't really learn anything from those flashbacks. I think, the in terms of main story and like of what happened, yeah, I mean, we already knew that Link lost and that he get, gets put in the Shrine of Resurrection for 100 years, but I don't think that's what the purpose of those flashbacks were. It was to see the uh, the relationship between yourself and Zelda, and also the other champions. Learn more about Zelda and the champions as well. Um, like their backstories, how you grow to one know one another, to become friends, and things like that. I think that is the purpose of those flashbacks. And in that regard, I think they did a great job. I, it kept me engaged all the way. I wanted to see, you know, what was the turning point? You know, what brought Zelda and I together? What, what point did she awaken her powers? You know, how, how did it happen? And I thought it was really cute. Like I said, there's fucking ton of waffles in this game. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could decide. There's fucking pie, huh? Where's she at? Oh, seriously, all the girls this game are thick as hell. Thick as hell. That a fishy as hell. Either way, I like it. Ah, ah. Like, I just have so many great things to say about this game, which I know it probably... I've seen a few of you guys say, like, oh, I really wasn't crazy about this game. Like, this is one of my least favorite games in the series. Um, and I, I mean, I'll be honest, I totally understand that. I do. Like, it is a big departure from what we th they usually do. But personally, myself, I, d I really liked it. I still thought they did a really good job. And I thought it was still really an enjoyable experience. Um, if there, are, if I had any critiques, uh, and this is sort of like, I guess, nitpicky, I guess, but I really did wish they did give you something to, to deal with the rain, because I still thought the rain was the most annoying part, <laughs> trying to climb stuff. Also, uh, map markers for some quests were a little hard to figure out. I, don't, I, I get that the they were trying to encourage exploration, but sometimes it was kind of like, like, wait, uh, where's this place? Where am I going? What? Who am I supposed to talk to next? Also, the game was pretty easy in terms of at least like the the main story bosses. Um, it was just kind of weird because like I honestly thought the Lionel were the hardest enemies in this whole game. Although I, even then, like once you sort of figured out the pattern for one of the Lionel, the other ones weren't that different, except like maybe the spear one, but. Just because he mostly never stood still, he always kept moving. But the other ones all had very similar patterns, you know, he always was kind of like, just kind of backflip, backflip. But yeah, I mean, off the bat, those are, I think, the sort of quote-unquote bigger ones. Um, there are probably other little nitpicks there, like some bugs and stuff. I, at this game, I have noticed the frame rate does tend to drop, like, uh, in certain areas. And uh, I think there are some bugs, especially in regards to, like, that uh, custom tracker you can put to, to, to teleport yourself to, to different places. But uh, that aside, I, I love the hell out of this game. I'm really glad I decided to do a Let's Play of it. Um, and I'm really, really happy, too, because it seemed like you guys really started to enjoy it after a while. You started to, like... Because like, you guys were sort of like me in the beginning. We were like, like it's like, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not, you know? It's, it's a very different Let's Play from anything I've done before. But I'm so glad I took that risk, you know? Because I now that I have, I, I really think I'd be down for... Let's playing other Legend of Zelda games. So it really opens up a new, uh, a whole new uh, series of games for the channel. But really was, it was just such a, a joy and really like, it felt good seeing you guys like warm up to it and then like become like really excited for each episode. Um, 
So thank thank you guys. Thank you so much for for giving this series a chance and for showing such amazing support throughout this series. It really has meant a lot to me and has made this experience that much more enjoyable. Big thank you to Ima, who was really the one who had actually bought me the Nintendo Switch and uh, made this entire Let's Play possible. So I really do appreciate that, man. But yes, as, as for what's next. So, uh, like I said, the, the next Council of Voices will be up, should be up tomorrow. I also still need to do my uh, my anniversary video. I still want to do that for uh, for six years. Uh, I do it every year. I chose to just wait till I finish the Council of Voices first before doing it. Um, and then we're gonna hop into two brand new series. That's, that didn't happen very often. I don't even know if it's actually, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember honestly the last time it's happened where I've had to, I start two brand new series at the exact same time. But yes, I already actually know what they, they're they gonna be. Although one of them doesn't come out for a few days. I think that's a that's a big hint for one. I think a lot of you probably already know what that one is. And then the other one is also has been one that's been highly requested for quite a while. I know you already guessed it. So I swear like 90% of the comments requesting games have been this one. And it's, it's one that I think I'm ready to play now, so. But yes, after the Council of Voices is up I, and uh, also the anniversary uh, video, I will uh, get back into my regular schedule of uh, two series at once, so. But yes, thank you guys again so much for the support with this series, making it so much fun. If you did enjoy the series, please do leave a like and a favorite, it really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already, become a picky penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Yeah, I will. I think I will definitely be checking out uh, other games in the series. I mean, not, not immediately. Um, I'm gonna wait probably a little bit, but, um, which game do you think I should do next? Like, what's the the next one I should jump in there? I've seen a lot of people say Ocarina of Time, and I think that'd be pretty cool just because, like, I I did play a little bit of it, but only when I was a, a kid, and it was only sporadically uh, when I would go to my friend's house, and I don't remember anything about it. But there's also a whole bunch of other ones that, based on the timeline or whatever, I I don't know. I, I, most of the people were saying Ocarina of Time, and the nice thing is they actually have a remake of that, or or like a remaster, I guess, for the 3DS. It was like improved graphics and stuff, so that'd be pretty cool. Definitely uh, something to consider. Let me know if you guys want to see more games in the, the Legend of Zelda series. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.